Hey, and welcome back to Silks Detailing. Um, the purpose of me starting this channel was to interact with like-minded people to either look at what I'm doing and either correct it or improve what I'm doing and learn different techniques and methods using different products as well. Now, since starting this channel, I have had a couple of conversations with Specky um, and on a recent conversation around my wheel cleaning video, I was actually speaking to Martin from OCD who gave me a suggestion on what to do or a different method to try. Now, my traditional method would be, obviously wheel bucket and a variety of wheel brushes, which we've got down here. We put the shampoo in the bucket. We would then use um, like an APC, just to go around the tire, clean the tire. And then we'd then apply a wheel cleaner directly to the wheel even though we've got shampoo in the bucket, um, just to add extra lubricancy, just to make sure that we're not damaging the wheel while we're cleaning it. Now, following on from my wheel cleaning video where I actually purchased and first used the Garage Therapy uh, One Wheel Shampoo, which you know is a fantastic product so far, my suggestion was to actually use this in a foamer. So you apply a thick layer of foam onto the wheel. So instead of using your generic wheel cleaner, you still use this. And then you still use this in the bucket. So then this adds as your lubricant on the wheel. And then you can always use the shampoo in the bucket with your brushes, saying clean and get rid of all the dirt. So based on Martin's suggestion, I only we got this. I then went and got an IK foaming gun. So this is an IK foam two. And I think it's a two litre capacity. I've not used one before. So what we're going to do is put 10 to 20 mil of the wheel shampoo into here, apply this onto the wheel and then put 30 mil in the bucket and see how we get on. I think what I might do actually is the traditional way of cleaning one wheel and then use this way, see which I prefer. We'll go and have a look at the wheels and we'll go from there. Okay, so this is the car in question. This is my partner's Citroen DS3. Um, it hasn't been cleaned for a long while. Our shifts haven't allowed me to be at home with the car while she's not been here. And we've recently just took on an allotment and from the streaming yesterday, we have shit all down the car. So this is going to get a good clean anyway. But in question, what we're going to do is go through these mucky buggers and try and get these clean. So one wheel I will use my traditional way and then I'll then try Martin's on the second wheel. Um, and just see my own opinion really um, and then we'll give Martin a shout and see what he thinks so let's go get some mix ready to go okay so into this first bucket I'm just going to put a generic shampoo that I've got here just squirt some of that in there and then foam it up Let's go get some tools. Okay, so in the bucket I have my tire brush, Viking brush for the faces, and then an easy brush to get into the barrels. I might have to get the smaller one to get in the middle of these little spokes. I then have an all-purpose cleaner and a wheel cleaner. So let's start by rinsing it down. Right, let's start with the tire.
then onto the wheel. So we just spray, spray the wheel inside the barrels. And then we could also load up the brush to take it into the back of the wheel. see the mess of that. So let's get the Vicam brush and we'll go over the faces. Get a bit more now. Then let's rinse down. And as you can see, that has come up pretty clean. So in total we use three products to get the wheel looking like that so far. So we've got the shampoo in the bucket, we have the generic, uh, this is smart wheels, wheel cleaner, and then we have the APC for the tyre. So the APC I think we'd still use anyway on the actual tyre, but what we'll do on the next one, we'll only use the garage therapy shampoo on the tyre and the wheel through the foamer. So let's go and have a look. Okay, so into the wheel bucket, I'm going to add the Garage Therapy One Wheel Shampoo. Okay, Approximately 30 mil, and then into the foamer, I'm going to add another 10 mil, approximately. Okay, let's go blast off the wheels. Okay, so as is the other wheel, let's rinse down the start wheel. foamers before but let's see how we get on so the tools we're using we get the same as the other wheel apart from just using garage therapy this time So as before, let's start with the tyres. This 
this time it doesn't seem to have pulled so much off the tire but that might be that my dilution ratio is just a little bit too much but you can see the shampoo is definitely much thicker on the brush compared to the other one it feels a lot slicker on the wheel it's less catchy and less clingy even on these smaller gap spaces between the spokes you can definitely see the last shampoo I used isn't really designed for wheels you can see how much this one is pulling compared to the other one Now when I was looking at doing this, I did actually think the uh, wheel woolies would be a better option. I think they'd hold more of the solution in compared to these EZ brushes, which are you know, more open space. But it is clinging well to the bristles and it is taking the solution into the back of the wheel. So whereas I thought I'd need to invest in some new brushes for this method, I don't actually think I would. It doesn't seem necessary. And then let's go on to the faces. You can't beat the shampoo. You can see the bottom of this wheel. You can see how much it's pulled compared to the three products are used on the other wheel. Right, let's have a rinse off. So the second wheel is clean. At this time, we'll just use the one product. Let's go and have a look at our thoughts. I have missed a bit actually. Let's get that off before we go anywhere. Look at that. Do it. Prop if you're gonna do it, it's away. That's better. Well, let's go wrap this one up and make a start on the car. Okay, let's uh, wrap this one up then. So what do we think? So the old traditional way which I clean wheels, I'd be using average with three products and that's without a fallout remover afterwards. Um, with the way Martin suggested, I'm just used the one so far. So what do I do going forward? Um, I definitely think you need to APC the tyres. Uh, I don't think it's pulled as well off the tyre, but then it's not designed to do that. And then the uh, IK foamer, I definitely need to get a bit more use out of it. It seemed a little bit wet, it might be how it's meant to be. Could be my dilution ratio is too thin, don't know. But overall, I think this is a simple method um, and cost effective. You're only buying one to two products, whereas I'll use at least three in the old method. The only out cost I got was buying this foamer, which I'd get use out of it anyway. So thanks, Martin. Appreciate the comment. Um, if anyone else has got any suggestions or any ideas around what I could do differently, please leave them in the comments or just send a direct message to me. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.